I know from, uh, so the DNA gets ionized, and it can get repaired by those proteins I talked about, but um, if there's an oxygen molecule present, it can prevent that repair from happening because it kind of uh, attaches on to the break. It's called oxidative, uh, um, it's called damage fixation. So for some reason, gold increases the amount of oxygen there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you're measuring uh, how much DNA repair is being done at the site by like, targeting the repair protein rather than the DNA repair itself, mm -hmm. like how do you know it's being localized to the DNA and it's not just like floating around? You're just kind of going to go How do I know the fluorescent antibodies aren't accumulating somewhere else? Yeah. Well, um, uh, I suppose it's because there are a lot of fluorescent antibodies and to get one of those bright spots you need a lot there and the probability that you're going to get a lot accumulating in one spot without a reason um, is probably pretty low. Yeah. Um, I suppose a good experiment would be to not irradiate Oh, actually, we've done that, excuse me. Um, we, have, we have images of cells, I don't have it here, but we um, irradiate them, they have the fluorescent antibodies and image them, and you only see like one of those dots, as opposed to like the lot that we saw here. This is with like a lot of irradiation, so you got a lot more breaks. If there was no radiation, you'd see like one spot, and that's just from the background radiation of the Earth. So you mentioned local have you talked about any plans about what sorts of coding you might use to try to localize to the Yeah, there are, there's a lot. Delivery is a huge area of research. Um, mostly because it's not just gold they try to target. There's so many other things they're trying to target, like chemotherapeutic drugs and stuff. So yeah, delivery is a huge field. Um, one of the things is um, to keep it out of the tumor, uh, excuse me, to keep it out of the kidneys, um, one thing they do is attach um, some molecules that try to keep it from getting sensed by the uh, immune system. I'm not sure the chemistry behind it, but one of the techniques is yeah, keeping it from getting uh, detected by the body's immune system. And another one is they attach antibodies to the tumor, and then like antibodies to those antibodies to the gold, so then the gold has higher affinity just for the tumor. So then specifically That's the goal. That's the goal, yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering, for your results probably you had um, cell count as function of gold concentration. I'm just wondering if you have any, uh, if there's an explanation as to why it should be linear, or say, is it, is it all possible you might expect Kind of drop off the frequency at first and save lives beyond some uh, massive gold concentration or anything like that? Um, just sort of oh, oh, you're talking about if we had more gold concentration data points? Yeah, like, so would you, like, do you expect it to be linear from theory? Or yeah, so, yeah, once, I don't, let me know if this answers your question, but if we hit it with like way more concentration of gold, um, the radio sensitization would not increase. Now, this is, I'm saying this based on work I've read, not my own work, but the sensitization would not increase as drastically, but the toxicity would. So kind of 12 micromolar concentration of gold nanoparticle solution is like the optimal one, which gives you like um, the most sensitization and like a little bit of cytotoxicity. Yeah. So after 12, um, after 12, it kind of, goes like that. So any more gold will make a big difference. If this is a sensitization right here. Yeah. Okay.